Hi, my name's Tony Anderson. I'm the director of aluminum technology for ITW Welding North America. And I'd like to just talk a little bit to you about uh, porosity in aluminum welds. Resolving issues related to porosity is not always easy and in fact it's usually very difficult and but it can be made a lot easier if you understand some of the basic concepts of what what porosity is. Um, for the first thing to understand is that porosity is formed from hydrogen, hydrogen gas and the hydrogen gas that causes porosity is a source of a number of different things. So in order to resolve porosity problems we really need to understand where hydrogen gas can come from in order to produce porosity and essentially there are three sources uh, where we might find hydrogen uh, in this form. First is uh, moisture. The moisture can come from many sources um, obviously if we have water on the surface of the material um, but more insidious is humidity. Um, if we're working in areas where we have very high humidity and changes or fluctuations in temperature we can cross dew points and moisture can actually form on the surface of our material or on the welding wire that we're using to weld with. So if we're working in criti on critical components and trying to achieve x-ray quality wells with very low porosity levels we really need to be aware of uh, humidity issues and moisture that can be formed through that phenomena. The second is hydrocarbons. Hydrocarbons can appear from oil, grease, cutting fluids, uh, all kinds of contaminants that may be on the surface of uh, the base material and also the filler alloy. If a weld wire is not clean it can contain hydrocarbons in the form of drawing fluids uh, so we really need to be careful um, with those types of things. And the third of these is hydrated aluminum oxide. Um, all aluminum has a surface oxide film uh, which on its own is not detrimental and will typically not cause porosity however uh, that film that oxide film is capable of absorbing moisture and becoming hydrated. When we, when we consider hydrated aluminum oxide we can divide it into two areas. Uh, base, base materials can become hydrated very very easily because they're generally stored in not terribly uh, cleanly areas uh, such as outside on rack material racks. Um, so they, they are areas that we somewhat expect to have uh, contamination from hydrated aluminum oxide. However, the other area to be considered is our filler material. And storage of filler alloy is really important uh, to prevent contamination and the formation of hydrated aluminum oxide. So wherever possible, we really need to be storing our, our aluminum wire in an area where we don't cross dew points. Uh, the material should be wrapped and not removed from its containers until it's ready to be used and stored in an area where we don't see large fluctuations in temperature or humidity. Uh, worst possible situation is high humidity and changes in temperature. I'd like to give you a couple of tips on how to try to pre prevent porosity. First of all, you really need to be working in an area where, where there are no drafts. Um, you need to be paying attention to the cleanliness of the plate surface uh, if you suspect the aluminum coating has been contaminated, uh, it should be cleaned prior to welding. Uh, the basic cleaning process for aluminum is in two stages. First of all, it's the removal of hydrocarbons, followed by the breakdown and the removal of hydrated aluminum oxide. Um, so commonly people might use um, a degreasing agent, a very good degreasing agent uh, that we often use is called Zero Try, made by a company called LPS. Uh, it works very, very well, sprayed onto the surface of the material and wiped with a paper towel. Uh, it will definitely remove hydrocarbons. This is the first step, always the first step. Secondly, we now look at the oxide and we break it down with a clean stainless steel wire brush. Um, don't have to, have to overdo it, a light pressure uh, with a clean stainless steel wire brush will break down and remove oxide. Always perform those operations in that order. Uh, uh, hydrocarbon removal first, break down and remove oxide second. Other areas to consider are such things as 
contaminated shielding gas. Um, doesn't happen very often. Uh, shielding gases today are, are generally uh, very good in terms of quality. Um, however, delivery systems from the bottle or the bulk system to the welding gun or to the weld can be a problem. On the Miller website, there is a, there is a link to a technical brochure published by Maxal, um, which gives lots of information about this subject. Uh, detailed information about porosity, along with many other uh, problem-solving issues related to making good aluminum welds.